Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. From Disney's movie Planes, we have got Dusty or the crop dust of the Piper Pony and it's such a beautiful plane. Uh, 3D Lab Prints sells uh, the print files for uh, this plane. We are not sponsored by them but anyway we thought we want to do a video anyway and I was thinking about making a time-lapse video of the build but then again we had so many problems uh, during the prints and during the building there's a lot of issues uh, perhaps it's me or perhaps it's the way that things are printed uh, most likely the last one there are so many printers out on the market and some of them are good and some of them are bad and some are in between and we had to try printing out some parts and when they got bad we had to go back in again and adjust the printer and the final result is quite beautiful. What I miss about uh, this concept is like more rails I know that it will give you a little bit more weight but in the wing sections so that let me show you uh, in like this wing part that you had like big flat pieces going out which you can slide into the next part there are not many places that you can connect this so when you are gluing it you have to be rock steady and very precise so that it doesn't slip out of track and you get a really bad looking plane. We have some issues and the problems that we uh, faced was the joints of the pieces that we glued together. Some of them doesn't have the correct fit with the other piece. But this is due to the heat of the printer and I think that some of the parts uh, got wider or smaller, I don't know. But we managed to put it together and it's quite, quite beautiful. The only thing missing now is the stickers and of course uh, the exhaust pipes for uh, the motor. And we didn't print out the spinner and the spinner plate because we have read a little bit about the spinner um, blowing up in speed and we don't want that to happen so I bought a Dubro spinner and um, it's quite beautiful then again some of the uh, pictures of Dusty, he has a white spinner and in other ones he has a black spinner but I don't think that doesn't it doesn't matter right now but if we find out that it is a black spinner of course we can paint this one it's not a problem at all uh, it comes with flaps, uh, ailerons, elevator and side rudder the concept with the servos and the wiring it's so beautiful you have small tunnels for the wires and you can just slip them down and they just fall down the tunnels and you're good to go to connect them to your uh, receiver we are currently running a four cell option on this one uh, in the drawings you can see that you can use all from three cell up to six cell uh, the weight of the plane with all of the electronics is about 2.2 kilos, quite heavy considering it's all plastic. And we are using a 3825 OS uh, electric motor which has uh, 740 kV, I think. I'm going to check it out here so I don't say anything wrong. Here it is. Uh, OMA 3825 750 watts. So I didn't have a bigger ESC than a 50. Uh, I have ordered a 70 amp ESC so that I can get a little more punch uh, out of the plane. So currently we are running on a 50 amp ESC and with a 12 by 8 propeller. Uh, we are using uh, this one. Um, we were going for a 13 but we used the 3 blader so we went down to 12.7 uh, 
uh, three blade prop and this one will then uh, pull like 3.4 kilos at 10,000 RPM. So uh, 3.2 kilos that gives us one kilo more than the total weight of uh, the plane. Uh, 1200, uh, 1.2 kilos. And I think that will be okay for the maiden flights, but if you if we wanted to fly even harder and faster, we need to uh, address this with uh, a bigger ESC and a bigger battery, of course. But, a uh, beautiful plane. Uh, we are missing the stickers, yes, and there are some minor adjustments left and we are good to go. I promised uh, on Facebook that we perhaps would have it ready for today so that we could take the maiden today. We also have the sea duck that we want to do a maiden of, but sadly we didn't get the weather and we also didn't get this plane ready in time. Um, she's so beautiful. Uh, my main concern about this print is the wings. I think the fuselage will hold up very great, but I think the wings would be the biggest issues. Uh, I haven't seen any videos online of this plane yet, and uh, hey, hopefully ours will be the first, but anyway. So that is just a short update. Um, the battery compartments, you have so much space here. We are using a uh, 4 cell 4000 uh, milliamp battery. Uh, a lot of power, 4EC, and of course we have a big motor, so um, we have to keep the speed down a bit so we don't burn up the ESC, but I have tested full throttle for uh, about one minute, and the ESC has a good um, temperature, and the motor runs great, so. When it comes to installing the motor, you have also got an issue because in front of the plane let me turn it around you have this motor plate that you push into this um, track around the nose uh, when I did that the spinner came out about one and a half centimeter and that depends on the motor and what prop shaft the motor has so what I did I melted down the the original supports to uh, for about one centimeter and I got this perfect fit and you will have airflow going in here cooling down the motor as well so that was one of the fix when it comes to the rudders uh, 3D lab prints they are using plastic hinges uh, just ordinary plastic or fiberglass I'm not sure that means that you can get the rudders all the way into the wing. We have used uh, pinned hing uh, hinges. That means we have this little part that comes between the main wing and the rudder itself. Meaning that we have a little gap on each rudder. Make sure that you address this when you are installing the rudder and the uh, elevator horizontal and uh, vertical stabilizer because they will bind. So what I did, I just used um, soldering iron and melted the plastic so that I could get uh, some of the white mass away from the side rudder or the uh, vert uh, vertical stabilizer. So. Um, it's not beautiful, but then again, this I can paint or I can just put some white plastic and glue it on so it looks better. But this is a trial and error project for us now. We want to see how this works and if it does work, it will be just super. After we posted uh, videos uh, or pictures of this plane, uh, also on our Facebook page, uh, we got contacted by another firm that uh, makes 3D printed airplanes and this firm uh, has a motors, uh, motor glider which is called uh, Evolution 
and they asked us if we wanted to do a video and review of their uh, of their plane and of course we did that and we got the the prints and uh, the print files and we will start printing this plane as soon as possible but here we need to buy a little more accessories we need some carbon rods and so on but we will get back to that and also get back to the firm and the prices and how this turns out before you buy this plane, uh, plane make sure that uh, you have everything you need you need hinges you need a motor and you need a motor that can at least uh, pull 3.2 kilos you need a big ESC uh, 60 and up we are using a 50 but it's sort of inside I would rather use a bigger ESC than a too small ESC so uh, 60 and up um, the servos are a MIDI servos I'm using the power HD servos and these are uh, the um, uh, 1711 MG. These are Metal Gear servos and they work great. I bought these at Elephant in Norway, so if you live in Norway, you can buy them there. Uh, the name 1711 MG. The 3D printed spinner has sort of a skirt so that when you thread it on the motor it will fit better than this Dubro spinner because it only has a back plate not, not the back plate with the skirt so you can address the issue that I was talking about by printing the original spinner but I'm not going to do that we have tested the CG with the 4000 milliamp battery she balances great um, you have a lot of room to move the battery forward and backward. We are hoping to have some sun the next days. Hopefully tomorrow we will be lucky and get to maiden this beautiful little airplane. We are on Facebook and on Instagram. So if you want to visit us there, please do that. Uh, on uh, Facebook we are posting a lot of pictures when it comes to build a new project. So if you are curious, check us out there, please. Um, if you want to support us uh, with future projects, please visit our Patreon accounts and make a pledge there if you like what you see. Until next time, see ya!